But what I've used here is the, the ply, ply sheet, 12 mil thick. And uh, I'm going to attach that there, pine. Then I'm going to uh, screw down onto the back of the ply. And of course, I'm going to attach some L brackets to the back of that. And then I'm going to hang the entire system back up on the wall. All right, so what I've done is I have attached the wall, this false wall, this ply, uh, on a hook, which is basically consisting of the pine that I painted earlier. And I'm simply screwed through the front there, and on the back, you can see there is a lip created by the pine. And I didn't go all the way to the edge because. You can see the pillar sticking out right there, and I need it to sit flush right here on this window sill. So, as soon as I have painted over that and I have attached the mirror, we're going to be in business. Well, I've, I've erected the damn thing, but there are some problems. First of all, the clips on the back of this LED are completely shit. They, uh, they don't really want to hold this on too well and I think that's just kind of precariously hanging there. But worst of all is this gosh darn ply which appears to be severely warped all the way along. And as you can see on this side, the mirror is flush with the ply except it's coming off here, right? That's about a quarter of an inch. I'm afraid if I keep pressing down there, it's gonna snap in the middle. And over here, I've actually had to set, set a screw that far away out from the wall just to give it some outward movement so it bends in the right way. I can't really tell what is going on there, but if that wasn't pushed out, it would be sticking out a lot further than that. You can see how far out that mirror is really sticking from where it needs to be and that is trying to hold on for dear life right now well, let's just pause for a moment because i i had a thought uh dealing with all this mirror work i'm going to lose a lot of blood so i thought i might as well donate it first of all to people who actually need it so i'm here at the blood bank and uh i'm gonna give uh one liter here of my good old juices over to those people who really need it and care because when I drop this mirror on myself, hell, I don't lose a lot. It's going to go all over the floor. And I think that's a real waste now, don't you? Now, I've spoken at length with a, a, a bunch of different folks from all over, all the hardware stores everywhere. And, uh, well, what I think we had right there was a failure to communicate because I was asking them about how to mount up a mirror from the ceiling how to slide it along, how to rotate it, how to dip it down, how to do all the bits and pieces, but they knew nothing. They were useless as a tar baby in Christmas time. I tell you what. Now, what I've decided here is if I take a scooter, this will give me the mount that I need right here so I can rotate left and right. And up here, if I put a couple of clamps up there on the back of the mirror, see, I can therefore rotate with some grip and that will give me the slow down hinge process that I will need to make the mirror work. Now this rotation right here, that will allow me to spin it around so I can redirect it that way. And this here will allow me to redirect it that way. As for this part here, well, unfortunately this is a little bit too long. So I might have to take the wheels off and just slide this along and some sort of railing in the, in the ceiling. But I could potentially cut this down and make it shorter and then potentially get a couple of wheels on each side wheel one wheel two wheel three wheel four then turn the whole thing upside down and then this entire contraption could slide back and forth along the ceiling on some kind of railing that i could build really help me out so i might just go ahead and buy that and see what i can do well that's going to be the mirror out there and then that's going to be a large mirror. That's the one that I'm replacing. That's the one that's just hanging up on the wall over there. And here is my creme de la creme of solutions. The best solution I think I've ever come up with. After robots, of course. I actually, I do this kind of thing all the time. What I'm going to do right here 
is I'm going to attach these two little arms here to that there mirror over there with two clamps that will give it some resistance when twisting to create a stiff hinge. And that will allow me to rotate it and it will just stay put. Now obviously that's a little bit too low at the moment given that's nearly almost touching the ceiling up there. Uh, I might put some skateboard wheels or maybe something thinner like uh, roller blade wheels, inline skate wheels on the edge of those two parts right there and then drill a hole through that section there so that I can roll that along an inner lip which I'll attach to the ceiling and that will allow me to push that mirror right there back up against the wall and then of course allow me to, well I can't do it with one hand because I'm filming with the other one rotate that around behind my head. What it won't allow me to do though is come forward and back this way toward the mirror if I ever want to push it back and come in closer right up there and squeeze a pimple or something on the back of my neck. So I think what I need to do is I need to not only have this way, this lateral motion side to side here, but also go perpendicular somehow in a, in a massive railing system and what I was initially thinking was some kind of rotation inside a rotation, like a wheel and a wheel. But the problem there is you're restricted to where that wheel wants to go. So what you really need is to be like a 3D printer, which is like a, an X and a Y axis. So this thing can slide left and right like that. But also that entire system is hanging on a slide that also goes forward and back. And therefore, I will have absolute control over that mirror in midair above my head. Of course you can use this invention for anything including an x-ray which is probably where I got the idea from the other day but uh, nobody thought to use this at the hardware store. Nobody thought to use this anywhere. You have to be imaginative and that's what I come up with. And people all around the world from this day forward are sure as Fucking heck gonna be copying me because that's a goddamn genius idea if I do say so myself. What I need to do now is take off the wheel part because that was sticking down too far. And when that sticks up, it'll hit the ceiling. Because this bit here, well, this wants to be flush and doesn't want to have this thing sticking up into the ceiling. Now, I'm not sure how I'm gonna slide this along yet, but. My feeling is that I'm probably going to have to scrape off all this sandpaper grippy footy feet thing and uh, make that slidey so that that can slide along railing of some sort. I haven't quite figured out how that's going to go, but first of all, i got to remove the end piece here. Now that surface is on good and tight, and one thing we do know about glue is it don't like C22 solvent. So I'm gonna spray some of that stuff right on there. Yes sirree Bob, that's clean as a whistle. So we got us here our scooter. This will help a lot. And now I've attached a couple of railings here, which are just some circular pieces of tubing. Now for the clamp into the mirror, and so once the bolt goes in between, they'll squeeze that handle together like that. Hopefully, then I can adjust it so it's exactly tight for that mirror to stay exactly where it needs to be. And then I can slide that mirror back and forward along here, just like that. Now as for the double penetration, I was talking about sliding one direction that way and one direction that way on a double kind of system like a 3D printer. I don't know if I'll bother doing that. I think I might just go in on an angle because there's really a lot in the middle of the ceiling that I can't move and so I'm going to have to go around it. And I think if I just give myself one slide in space, if I want to go closer to the mirror, with that, the distance between there and here, I'm going to move over to the right of the, of the sink. And if I want it further away, I'll move over here a bit. So it won't be coming back and forth toward the mirror. It'll just be angled on a, on a diagonal away from the wall. I got some bad news and some good news for you. Bad news is this thing was so goddamn bold the mirror broke off and smashed onto the floor. And as for my friend here, Mr. I'm gonna hang upside down and do a double twist on the ceiling. Well, my friend came around the other day, friend I hadn't seen in 20 years. Well, he came around, he said, what's that thing you're building there? He lifted up, sure enough, this thing came loose and this thing just smashed right in the middle, just like that. 
So that's one problem I don't have to worry about anymore. Maybe $250 down the drain, but sure is better than a $10,000 face repair right down the middle. On the bright side, my brother-in-law came over and he helped me install, install this brand new mirror, which is a million times better. Miles in front of the other ones, which we've taken off and put right there. Well, folks, that's my mirror system. And just in case you think I haven't got a view of my own asshole while I'm doing my hair, I can tell you what. That is right there behind me, leaning right up there against the shower, and I think that'll do just fine for now. I won't be able to see exactly what's going on in the back of my head to squeeze my own pimples, but that thing sure is going to give me what I need in terms of everyday kind of appearance and seeing what I look like from behind. From my perspective, it looks something like that. So I can see my own ass. Alright, that's my mirror system. Ceiling's still bare. Ain't got nothing hanging up to do my hair from behind, but, well, I can't be fucked. I might get back to it later on.